Building a PC in Singapore is kind of complicated, not completely, but still quite complicated because you have so many damn options. You can go with Sinlim Square builds and build a custom rig and buy every single part and decide every single part yourself. Or you can go with a pre-built from Aftershock or Dreamcore and, or like a carousel boutique builder and just have their parts decided for you and things like that. So the question is, which is the better option? Well, it's kind of difficult to explain, so let's try to break it down. Let's start off with part selection. And if you want exact specific parts, well, obviously, you have to go with a custom build because these system integrators and pre-builds often get their cost advantage from, well, ordering in bulk and having partnership or exclusivity deals with certain brands like MSI or ASUS or whatever. And because of that, what ends up happening is that, well, it's very difficult then for them to offer a large variety of many different intricate part options. They can give you a few options, but they often can give you all the options in the market. So if you want to go and get very specific with your parts, very esoteric, go with a custom build. It's in the name, custom, am I right? The next thing though is part selection also relates to my next point, which is convenience. For some people, however, they don't want specific esoteric parts. They don't want to select parts at all. And decision fatigue is a real thing. For some people, they just want to order a gaming PC, pay the sticker price, get it shipped to their door, and just have a gaming rig that they don't have to worry about. And with pre builds that's where they win, obviously because you order a PC from them, it ships or shows up to your door, you go and collect it and you plug it in, Windows is installed, drivers are installed, you don't have to worry about things, it, it, it's just what it is. Even with the most convenient and simplest of custom builds, you still have to go down to a store, you still have to decide every single part and ensure that every single part is what you want. Whereas with pre-builds, there's less of that concern and it's a lot more convenient to go with a custom build, which is something that you know a lot of people do care about, especially working adults who don't worry about the price as much and worry more about the time cost. And that leads me to the next point, which is price. Convenience definitely comes at a price because you're paying for labor, because you're paying for them to do the service of building and test benching and figuring everything out for you. When it comes to system integrators or carousel boutique builders, you are inevitably going to pay a premium in terms of part for part, spec for spec, uh, a custom build at Simlim Square versus Aftershock. Plus the bonus of Simlim Square or dealing with like small part distributors is that you can negotiate and bargain for a better price, which you cannot do with these big businesses that are system integrators. So yeah, in terms of price, you do pay a premium for the convenience when you go with a system integrator and you can definitely save a buck when you go custom, especially if you say, go second hand for one or two of the parts in your rig, because that is definitely a viable solution to save a dollar. But for some people, that time cost is greater to them than the actual money cost of doing all the research and finding out which part is the best. Which is that why I think a lot of people still buy system grays. Because not everything is about money, sometimes it's about time as well. And let's be honest, time is more valuable than money. Now, that's not to say that these system graders are super, super pricey though. In recent times, it seems like these big system integrators have managed to streamline their processes and bring costs down and really have started to get quite competitive in the PC scene relative to custom PC builds. While it's still cheaper to get a custom PC build, that margin is definitely diminishing. So it then becomes like a, a more complicated decision and it becomes a lot more competitive. So gone are the days like in 2016 or 2017 where if someone said they bought an Aftershock PC, you know they overpaid for their parts. Gone are the days where th that is the case. Nowadays, it's it's a lot closer. It's still more expensive, but it's a lot closer than uh, many people would think. The next thing that I would like to talk about is build quality. When it comes to custom builds, you have complete control over the build quality of your rigs. The assembly quality, that's all on you. And if anything breaks, well, that's also all on you. If it was my friend who always shows up on my videos building PCs for me so I can film, it, Alex, if it was him building it, I would be very confident in my rig. If it was me building it, mmm. I'm a clumsy guy with butterfingers and I know a lot of people will be like that, especially if you're not an experienced builder, that having to build yourself might be a concern, not just in terms of convenience, but also in terms of, well, consistency. With system integrators building hundreds of PCs every day, with these builders building so many and they have actually have to go through training and they have standard operating procedures and they have like a proper setup to ensure that everything's working properly. And with these system integrators, like test benching their parts before they send it to you, test benching the whole rig before they send it to you, that build quality assurance is be better on a pre-built system than a custom build, uh, especially if you build it yourself. Now with custom builds, it's not always you that has to build it. Sometimes you can pay some guy at Sydney Square $20 to build it for you or some shops even offer 
the PC build service if you buy most of your parts from them. So that's something to keep in mind. But then again, in terms of build quality, I would say that going with a system integrator is better because they do benchmark it, they do test their things, and they have standard operating procedures and they have service centers to deal with. Which also leads me to the next point, which is warranty and after sales support. With buying PC parts from PC shops and stuff, they generally only give you like a one month warranty and then the rest is directly dealt with the distributor of those parts, say Corbell or Convergent Systems, etc. The list goes on of the distributors. Uh, and because of that, you kind of have to deal with this distributor thing and they generally have offices out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, all of them have offices out in the middle of nowhere, let's be honest. But the thing is, with warranty, it's on a part basis because you're ordering part by part, right, with these custom builds. When you go with a pre-build or a system integrator, what ends up happening is that the warranty is completely covered by the system integrator and the warranty is absorbed by the system integrator. So if a part fails, well, you take it to DreamCorp, you take it to Aftershock and they troubleshoot it for you, they replace it, fix it for you, or they tell you, well, this is not covered by warranty and you have to buy a new, you have to buy something new and when you pay them, they'll replace it for you and they do their warranty. But on the custom PC building side of things, because you're doing everything part by part, everything is custom, everything is by you, and for you, what ends up happening is, well, if something breaks, you have to troubleshoot, figure out what that is, pull the part out, and send it directly to the distributor for warranty replacement or things like that. So in terms of warranty, system integrators definitely win here. Not necessarily on the length of the warranty because I've seen some PC parts go for six, seven, eight, nine years in terms of the length of their warranty, while system integrators generally on average only give two or three years warranty at max. So in terms of warranty length, part by part probably is the winner, but in terms of warranty convenience and warranty ease of dealing with and troubleshooting and claiming that warranty, I would give that win to system integrators, especially the more established ones that have established SOPs and established offices and established after-sales support like Dreamcore and Aftershock, the bigger brands in this particular field. So in conclusion then, should you go with a Synonym Square build or should you go with a custom pre-built from a system integrator like Dreamcore or Aftershock or even Carousel Boutique Builders where it's like pre-laid out and pre-selected for you? It really depends. It really depends on who you are. If you're a tinkerer who wants the exact best bargain possible, then going with a custom build obviously is the better choice. You know, I'm willing to burn a, one, a day of my weekend to go to Synonym Square and bargain and, rub shoulders with these PC shops to figure out what's the best deal I can get or you know I'm willing to scour carousel for a good bargain things like that but for some people they would rather save that time and enjoy their weekend and not worry about it and not have to do this research or for some people they're just kind of anxious and unsure about them and that extra fee they consider it a good way to not have to worry about it so it really depends on who you are if you care more about convenience, you care more about the price, you care more about the performance, and you care more about the fun. Because I forgot to mention this earlier, but the fun of building a PC, a custom PC, is definitely there for a lot of the geeks like me. The fun of hunting for parts, the fun of scouring for bargains, and the fun of going down to Simnum Square to see what you can sniff out and find in terms of a deal. That's also something that we want to keep in mind. So it really depends on who you are. I I think I laid out all the different aspects of buying a PC from these different sources, the pros and cons in each quite well, and I hope that helped some of you or most of you, a large part of you. And uh, with that, I'm gonna end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, all that stuff. Remember, 10K subscriber giveaway is coming very soon. So you make sure you hit that subscriber button. That will be a pretty sizable giveaway for sure. Okay, uh, and with that, uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Adios. Zaiten.